Hey guys, Ivan here and we are finishing this year strong. We have updates of the three, arguably three best bodybuilders of all time. We have an update of the King Ronnie Coleman, of the Gift Phil Heat and of the Blade Dexter Jackson. So we're gonna start this video with the King, with Ronnie Coleman. This is him right now at the very end of 2021. Uh, he is training, which is, which is important, you know, he is still able to work out after all the injuries and all the surgeries and everything like he's almost unable to walk he's still working out every time i see a video of him training i'm always impressed that's enough talking about his physique right now i don't know how much sense does that really make because yeah i know ronnie coleman the name means the best physique of all time i don't think that's even arguable but you know those days are in the past uh, the, the physique was created there are photos there are videos so this piece of art will, will last forever, the photos and the videos, the legend will, will always be alive. But you know, father time catches up with everybody, so this is Ronnie Coleman right now in 2021. Again, it's, it's impressive enough that he's able to work out. I don't know if he can even walk properly, but he's still here training. And I know, I'm guessing, I, I'm, I'm thinking he's probably in a lot of pain in this moment. His back is probably killing him, but he's still doing those reps. He's still trying to pump up those rear delts and, and, and maintain a, a solid amount of muscle, which he's pretty much able to do. There are many retired bodybuilders who used to be over 300 pounds, like Ronnie Coleman, who don't have as many injuries and not even to mention as many surgeries on their back or something like that, that Ronnie Coleman went through and they look much smaller, much skinnier. So Ronnie Coleman actually was able to maintain quite a lot of mass. You can see right here, you can see his delts, you can see his uh, forearms, his arms, his, I mean, his back, his chest, like the overall thickness of his body, upper body in particular, legs have downsized quite a bit because he's not even able to use them. Of course, they atrophied, but his upper body for a 57-year-old is looking massive enough. Wouldn't you agree? All right, next we have an update of the gift, Phil Heath, who is looking great. At the age of 42, which is actually, he's younger right now than what Sean Roden was when he won his first Mr. Olympia, may he rest in peace. So Phil Heath right now is looking very fresh, right? He's looking young, he's looking healthy, he's looking great. He does not look like somebody who needs to retire. So uh, he says, this is a caption, it's very interesting, it makes you wonder, because there is a, there is a question everybody is, is asking, everybody is wondering, is he gonna come back or is he finished? We do not know. He never officially retired, he never really made an official uh, statement, you know, on stage, like, or on social media. No, he did not officially retire. And this caption right here, it's interesting, because he says, going in on these weights for the last week of 2021, Finishing out this damn year with some muscular gains so I can make 2022 a walk in the park. Hashtag having fun. So when you read the first part that I highlighted, so I can make 2022 a walk in the park, making some muscular gains, what does that mean? Does that mean that he is making some muscular gains so he can actually, he can easily, you know, get to his old size when he needs to compete again? Is he gonna do Atleticon, or is he maybe gonna do the Dubai Pro Show, or Mr. Olympia, or maybe even Arnold Classic, who the hell knows, maybe none of those, maybe something completely different is going to happen with his career, I don't know, but he says he's making some muscular gains, so 2022 is gonna be walking the park, is he talking about simply maintaining muscle for the sake of looking good? I don't know, usually when these guys retire, they downsize, because this is not healthy, having this much muscle at the age of 42, you know, it's, it's not the healthiest thing, for sure. And then, in the, in the hashtags, he says, having fun. So, maybe he's actually talking about just, you know, having fun, looking good, not trying very hard, but still looking great, or, you know, maybe that's just trying to deceive us, maybe he actually is going to compete, he doesn't want to talk about it for whatever reason, maybe he just wants to avoid the drama, maybe he wants to surprise fans, maybe he just wants to be mysterious, he wants to be the shadow because he can be, he's one of those guys who, you know, he won Mr. Olympia seven times, so just imagine $400,000 times seven. Not sure if that was the prize money every year, but something like that, then you also need to consider his uh, nutritional companies, like 
a gift in nutrition, it was for a while, then a uh, gift at athletics, I don't know, and sponsorships, uh, contracts, like, they were crazy contracts with Phil Heath, he really made a lot of money with those, so he's one of those guys that don't really need social media, you know, to make money, I don't think so, I don't think this is really beneficial for him, I think he's doing this post just for the sake of doing it, for the same reason I'm doing it, or you are doing it, this is not business for him, I don't think so, so he need he doesn't need to announce competing. He doesn't need the traction, the drama, the talks. He doesn't need any of that. He can just come back and you know be like top three to Mr. Olympia for sure. That's still a good money. So I don't know what the hell his plans are. He never really specified anything. He's looking great though, even for an active bodybuilder. I'm not talking about Phil Heath as he's retired. So for a retired bodybuilder, he looks great. No, no, he looks great for an active bodybuilder. I don't know how many active bodybuilders, professional top bodybuilders, are looking as good as him right now, muscularity and body fat wise, and you know, with his crazy genetics, he can always be like top 3 to Mr. Olympia, I'm pretty sure, not always, but still, I'm sure he can do that. So guys, tell me what you think about Phil Heath, is he gonna come back, how does he look like to you, I don't know, I think he looks great right now. And so we come to the blade, Dexter Jackson. This guy took a hiatus, there was nothing, no no updates, nothing of him for a while, and lately he posted a couple of those. So this is one of those, uh, him training his back and looking, of course, significantly downsized. So this is what I'm telling you, I mean, this is what happens when bodybuilders actually retire, and they go off the gear, they stop uh, force-feeding themselves, and training like maniacs, and just, you know, start living a life like a civilian, like a normal person, this is what happens, they, they, they downsize, for sure, holding on to a bunch of muscle year-round, I mean, it's not easy to do, it's not maintainable without pushing things, without forcing things, it's not natural for Daxter to look as big as he looked while he was competing, and it's not for Phil Heath, for example, so you can guess that Phil Heath is still forcing a couple of things, you know, he, he, he wouldn't look like that if he wasn't, this is what he would look like, something like this, if he really, you know, took care of his health and didn't care about getting big or maintaining uh, all that muscle mass that he's maintaining, this is Daxter Jackson, right now, 2021, let's be honest, he does look fit, right, I mean, he, he's not, like, he didn't let go of himself, he did not get fat or anything, I know he has super crazy fast metabolism, so he will probably not get fat so easily, right? But uh, for him to maintain size, that's a challenge, and he's, I mean, he's, he's maintaining a, a solid amount of muscle. I mean, he's not looking like a professional bodybuilder anymore, let's be honest, no. Maybe like a professional classic physique operator, <laughs> yeah, he's probably that big. But I don't know, what would he look like if he did classic, actually? <laughs> That's an interesting question. But, I mean, no, I don't think he could do that, because his body, you know, he didn't have many serious injuries, but his body is worn out. It started to look um, broken up a little bit at the end of his career. So, uh, here you can see, I mean, he, he downsized enough to still look muscular, to still look athletic, you can see like the big arms, the forearms, the chest, the uh, small waist and everything, shoulders are fine, not in close uh, as he was uh, when he was at his best, of course, when he was an active professional bodybuilder, but for a retired bodybuilder, he looks much better than many, right? You can see the same thing basically in this photo as well with Kevin Livroni, uh, legs, I think I noticed legs first, so he definitely lost a lot of mass in those legs, and that was always kind of an issue of his, when he, when he wouldn't do everything perfectly, his legs would lose fullness, which is something that happens with most retired older bodybuilders, but uh, also like the shoulder width and the neck size, he doesn't look very thick, you know, from the side, uh, the arms, he always had great arms, big and round, so he still has decent arms, but like, you know, especially in the neck and shoulder area, you can see that he's smaller, and overall, I mean, he's just a smaller person, but hey, that's definitely the smart thing to do. At the age of 52, it's no longer about how good he looks, it's about how healthy he is. How many years of life has he got left? If he played, and if he keeps playing his cards right, he might live for a long time. I, I don't see that uh, as, uh, as an impossible mission, I think he can do that. I think he didn't really push his body that much like many others, because he had crazy genetics. 
Yeah, being that big for that long, it probably took some toll on his body and his health, but still, he downsized very fast, which is not easy to do, but with somebody who has crazy fast metabolism, it's, it happens faster. So he looks smaller, he looks athletic, he looks nice, aesthetic, for the age of 52, he looks healthy, he looks great. And you guys tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Also, we have a couple of updates of some bodybuilders who are active, like William Bonek right here. At the age of 39, he shouldn't be close to retiring, but it feels like his career is slowly coming to the end. Now, he posted a photo a day or two ago, I made a video about it, in which he looks uh, smaller, downsized, but in this photo right here, does he look uh, downsized, does he look smaller? I would still say yeah, yeah, I mean those arms again, especially arms. They used to be like insanely massive, his biceps would literally touch his forearms when he would flex them. And everybody would think, I mean I would definitely think it was just the oil. Now it looks like all that oil went away. I don't know if it was really oil, maybe it was, I think it was, but whatever it was, it's no longer there. His biceps are definitely looking significantly smaller. He looks like an older bodybuilder getting close to retirement. Now. Arnold Classic is approaching and uh, ever since he parted his ways with uh, Neil Hill Yoda, his coach for many years, he coached him and he was the most successful. After that, his career started fading. Now, can he come back by like winning the Arnold Classic? I, I doubt that. I really doubt that. Because we have Brandon Curry doing it and a whole bunch of other great bodybuilders. One of them I'm going to show you right now is Brett Wilkin, and look at this video, so from behind, when you look at this photo, would you even guess that this is Brett Wilkin? He looks like Nick Walker to me, he looks that big, look at the size of those legs, and the back, and the arms, everything, he looks super freaking massive, this guy grew so freaking much, and of course his voice mutated, of course his voice <laughs> became raspy, he grew so much muscle that his throat is closing on him, so yeah, you can watch that video on my channel, it seems like that's the reason, because look at the mass of this guy, only 3 years ago he was an athletic looking dude, he looked, uh, he was small for classic, he looked smaller than Chris Bumstead, now he looks insanely big, and he's doing the Arnold Classic, so uh, I think his size compares to that of uh, uh, Brandon Curry for example, yeah, I mean, look at this guy, he's thick as hell, he's really dense, like look at the upper body, back through chest like there is a lot of size right there and he has probably bet definitely better legs than brandon curry so i know it's crazy to think that this guy this, this this newcomer can actually win such a big show as Arnold classic but you know i'm going with him actually i'm saying brad Wilkin is gonna win it his physique is super aesthetic super proportional and now he looks really massive i just hope all this mass is not gonna ruin his aesthetics i don't think it will and I think this is going to be an amazing package of Brad Wilkin. I think it's going to dominate the Iron Classic stage. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, of course. And for more stuff like this about bodybuilding, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye bye.